50. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. You, you piece of <laughs> Bunch of misogynist <laughs> mother <laughs> Take your male privilege somewhere else. How about you being aggressive? I'm being aggressive. Come on, us! Excuse oh. us! Wow! Watch out! These, that's the guys that attack Alex Jones. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. And you laugh at those people, but they are, they are the scum of the earth. And there's good in this world and there's evil. And there's those of us that lay down to it who I guess are in the middle. But it's so clear that we just have to say no to these people and let them crawl back in their trash cans. I mean, that's what this comes down to. <laughs> They're laughing in there. He actually crawled and hid in the dumpster. <laughs> and he couldn't even hardly walk. He was like, like doing a zombie act, but he was serious. And then they were all just so rat-like and so weak. But, of course, weakness is drawn towards dead babies. I mean, what type of entity is into this? And I, and I don't think it's, it's human in origin. I think there's some type of interdimensional thing like Hellraiser and that these people are basically entities, little, little demons hopping around. Okay, let me just tell you, I, I've got to hurry through calls because I want to get to some of this news on the economy on the Czech Republic and what's happening in Europe as well. But Stephen in Texas, thanks for holding. You're on the air worldwide. How's it going, Alex? It's uh, my first time calling. Um, a long-time listener as well. Welcome. Um, I'm just going to say two things. Um, yeah, so the whole that Black Lives Matter thing, um, I was just wondering, like, you know, I work at a shooting range and actually a pretty popular shooting range in Texas. And, like, I run a lot of NICS checks and stuff. And, you know, I'm a big libertarian. I don't think there should be background checks and all that stuff. But, you know, a lot of yuppies all the time, like, always ask, uh, you know, stricter background checks. And, you know, I was just wondering, why is there, like, no, you know, no part on there that has, you know, um, SSRI drugs on there? Because SSRI drugs that admit on the insert can make you run around murdering people with guns or whatever, they are a multi-billion dollar industry and they don't want to be targeted. Plus, it's not in law that if you're on those drugs, uh, that you can be restricted. Uh, and, I, I, and I don't want to pass new drug laws as well, uh, but I'm, I don't think people that are on SSRIs should have firearms, probably. The problem is then they'll just order you on SSRIs. Courts can do that and then take your guns. So it's a complex issue. I know a federal court ruled last week, and I didn't cover this. You guys print that. I forgot to that illegal aliens have a right to keep their arms to defend themselves. And, you know, I actually think, even if you're an illegal alien and are a felon here, that there is such a basic right to defense that you should have the right to a firearm, but so should I. I believe felons, like the old days until 68, when they get out of prison, if they were arrested with a gun that they owned legally, give it back to them. In the old days, they'd keep your gun until you got out of prison. And you just better not commit a new crime, because a criminal's going to get a gun anyways. Uh, so I say no gun laws. Now, I am a private property guy. And if somebody wants to say no guns on our private property and wants to do that, then that's their, 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 their authorization under, under private property to be idiots and advertise their place as a shoot 'em up zone for crazies. I don't agree with it. I think it's stupid. It, it ignores logic and common sense, but it's their right. It is their right to not let you have a gun if a church says no guns in here, if a liquor store says no guns in here, if a bar says no guns in here, if a restaurant says no guns in here, if a mall wants to say that, that's their issue. That's their issue, their private property. But outside of private property, I am for an absolute right to keep bare arms. Uh, that is what it comes down to. Now, if an airplane company says, hey, we're American Airlines, we don't want people with guns on board because they might shoot a hole through the window or something, that's fine. But then you better provide armed guards on that plane so there aren't hijackers. Oh, no, we don't do that. When the captain comes out to urinate on a flight, they have the stewardess put the drink cart in the hall and act like she's going to fight somebody. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Arm the pilots. God bless you, Steve. Good to hear from you. Great point. Dion in Illinois on the current shooting that's left one police officer dead in Fox Lake, 
Illinois with helicopters, armored vehicles rolling around in another reaction. Uh, I mean, like we saw uh, with the situation in Boston. Uh, go ahead. What's your view on this? Yeah, uh, and they're now uh, confirming that it is uh, three suspect shooters. One is black, uh, two are white. So they shot the police officer at the gasoline station. Uh, so I, I know the area is predominantly white. Uh, there's a lot of drugs here, and the area is predominantly uh, Republican voters. So you live in the town or nearby? Yeah, I live about five minutes from uh, from the shooting. I did see that. In fact, that just came out. Guys, you printed me the article about the identity of the uh, shooters. They believe they have the identities. Uh, and this could be drug-related, or it could be a lot of the Black Lives Matter type groups are just thugs that use that mantle. And if you, you know, as Sheriff Clark has pointed out, there's a lot of people that aren't black now that are part of this attack the cop movement. Um, but uh, I'm quite frankly, I, I suspected because it's at a gas station that it's a cold-blooded murder and, and, and not a cop about to bust people so they shoot him. Uh, that it's premeditated capital murder, that it appears to be cold-blooded. But cops hunt three suspects in shooting of Illinois police officer. And if you scroll up, I'll read the uh, breakdown of that. A community an hour north of Chicago was on lockdown in a massive manhunt for three armed and dangerous suspects was underway after a police officer was fatally shot Tuesday morning. Helicopters were circling above Fox Lake, Illinois, and law enforcement agency from the area, along with the regional SWAT team and K-9 units, were hunting for as many of three suspects after a police officer was shot around 8 a.m. And guys, you've read that. Where's the description of the people? Can you find that? Because I know that's on the article I have right here. Uh, what are they saying on your news? What news is reporting that uh, that you're seeing there, Dion? The local affiliate news, uh, Fox News Chicago, ABC News Chicago. Uh, speaking about the helicopters, they have three helicopters. They have SWAT teams, MRAPs going around there telling people to stay home. Schools are in lockdown, and uh, it's hard for a business to operate when these uh, kind of uh, situations occur because uh, it discourages people from uh, spending money in the uh, economy, and they need that for their small business. There's a lot of small businesses around here. Yep. Well, I know this. In the past, when a cop or anybody got shot, they didn't do these full lockdowns unless they knew specifically where they were. And then that's reasonable for a certain small area. These general cordons like they had of half of Boston or more of half didn't catch the guy. It was a citizen, and he was outside the cordon. Uh, the supposed guy. That was clearly a made-up operation. So it really just comes down to that, that uh, this is the, the big overreaction uh, Detective Christopher Covelli with Lake County Sheriff's Office said the suspects were described as two white men and one black man. Uh, so there that is from NBC and from Fox, uh, all reporting that. Uh, Dion, thank you so much. Yeah, it's... Um, I don't agree with the police tactic of locking down whole towns, whole cities to find someone. I mean, I understand they think that that stops the movement and so then they can catch the guys moving and they can't blend them with the crowd. But uh, I think finding the identity and working with the citizens uh, is the way to catch these people. And it's been proven that that isn't what's catching people. So it just seems like, oh, here are our toys. Here's our armored vehicles. Here's our helicopters. None of that protected you. And that's what I've pointed out. If a civil war breaks out in this country, that's not going to protect the police. Stopping the civil war is going to protect everybody. But the globalists have lined all this up. You can see them setting it up. We're going to come back from break and go back to your calls. We're running a special just this week alone to introduce you, if you haven't tried it, to one of our best-selling products, methylcobalamin, medical grade, super high quality, true organic, concentrated vitamin B12. It is a mega dose. And they say vitamin C and vitamin B12 are two things you can take large doses of as long as they're organic. So many, and I want to warn you, look this up. Uh, the vitamin B12s out there are synthetic and are based on a cyanide molecule. I'm not trying to scare you. It, it's just well known that it's not good mojo. So you can get 10% off right now on vitamin B12 at InfoWarsLife.com. And your purchase of the product on sale funds this operation. So 10% off. We have it back in stock, a large shipment. 
Secret 12 helps fund this operation. It is a win-win. You want true clean energy? Just a squirt under the tongue. You got like a month's supply, taking a big squirt every day under the tongue. Amazing energy boost. And I just couldn't operate without it. I mean, I take it with my coffee. I take a squirt in the morning and then with coffee. Then I'm tired at three or four. Got to keep going. I take another squirt. Uh, super male vitality. This summer is so important. Concentrated, known super herbs, cold pressed, concentrated to just supercharge your glands, your body. You've heard the rave reviews. Try super male or super female vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com. And it's got a five star review. Okay? I mean, we're talking more than four stars. People really love Super Mel Vitality. I want to thank you all for your support. Check out Super Mel Vitality today or call toll free 888 253 3139. And the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Stay with us. More of your calls straight ahead. We're going to be broadcasting for 27 hours live, kicking off at 11 a.m. Central on the 16th of September. Find Showtime's listings details at InfoWars.com forward slash Moneybomb. Trying to raise a million dollars. Sounds like a lot. It's not for syndicating TV, the TV studios, the satellite time, the closed captioning. Uh, just the satellite and closed captioning for a year costs over $400,000. So, but we will reach so many people, ladies and gentlemen. And then off the advertising that we're going to have on the show, it's moderate, two or three minutes an hour. Local stations get that as well. Um, even at the lowest levels of advertising, it'll fund it. It'll become self-funding within about six months, and then it's going to have a big effect. Then I'm going to take the profit, get more satellites as a pure service worldwide. Most people don't put on liberty-based information or even U.S.-based information worldwide because there's not money in it selling advertisement. Well, we're just going to take the profits made in North America and transmit liberty worldwide. <laughs> we are like the real voice of America, the real voice of Americana. The real voice of America isn't, you know, let's have tranny bathrooms at public schools. I mean, it's just a joke, a total distraction from reality. The real voice of America is America has been captured. We want to get it back. The globalists are trying to cause a civil war. They're overrunning the West with illegals to further break the back of society and create divide and conquer. We are being conquered by the new world order. And coming up, check president calls for army to defend border against migrants. I mean, there's just videos of hundreds of thousands a week, thousands at a time, just rushing across, taking over trains, carjacking, grabbing, throwing people out of their trucks. Uh, and they're Eastern European, they're North African, they're Middle Eastern. I mean, all hell is breaking loose. Let's say your town's got a thousand people in it in Germany. You wake up in one week, there's 2,000 immigrants there demanding everything free with weird socialist Merkel and the British leaders and others going, it's our job to pay. Yes, let's open the borders fully. So the Czech president uh, said that the Republic should defend its borders. They're being criticized by the EU and they're ordering the Czech Republic, the EU is to open their borders. It's like, we order you to open your submarine docking bay at 1,000 feet, but that will kill everyone. Open the gate. Do you have any idea how the Middle East and Africa is collapsing? I mean, this is a takeover. This is World War III, but it's economic, financial, and cultural directed by the New World Order. I mean, it's just, it's, it's here. The Pope calling for world government, total bedlam, carbon taxes, uh, you know, teaching five-year-olds how to be trannies in public schools, the, the government telling you what your kids are going to eat, forced inoculations from Australia to California. It's on. Arresting preachers in Canada that criticize homosexuality or Muslims. It's on. It's on. Starting a race war. Groups out, White House controlled, Soros funded, saying kill cops. And then Soros is a weirdo Nazi collaborator. You can't make it up. And I'll say this. Both my grandfathers are dead in their graves. They were both in World War II. They were both in the Army Air Corps. They both almost died in World War II. I almost don't exist because of having to fight the Nazis. And they went through a lot, and, they, and, and they're dead. And George Soros, that sack of crap, is running around trying to shut my show down and trying to infiltrate my operation and trying to bring us down. Where is the justice in this world that my grandfathers fought against the Nazis 
and I've got some Jewish Nazi collaborator after me, and I got the ADL coming after me saying I'm connected to Nazis when they know full well they're the ones that are. You're a sick.